Hey, party people of the MTG next door. <clears throat> this is a Tenacious B this time. TB making a video. I almost never make videos. I almost never buy packs, honestly. But I was at a Target tonight and uh, got the impulse to spend some of my monies on this here mystery box that they were selling. Um, I don't know anything about this and I got a feeling I've probably been taken for a ride. So I'm not expecting much, but I figure the uh, Stitch is not making videos very often these days since he got the 500th one in the bag. I think he's taking a breather. So you got to keep everybody entertained, right? Okay, so my first thought when I was buying this box at Target was, is, uh, how do I know this thing is legit? It's got a little circle sticker here. I, mean, I don't know. I guess that's somewhat tamper resistant. It doesn't look like it was ripped or anything. But, yeah, I don't know, it seems like it'd be fairly easy to get into it right up here and then glue it shut again. But I don't know. What do I know about knowing stuff? And I guess these are pull tabs of some sort? I don't know how this shit's supposed to work. So, you will have to bear with me as we get our five random boosters, one set of two promo cards, and one random game piece. $35, by the way, is what I bought pay for this at Target. Okay, it's pissing me off. I'm looking into it. Alright, so random packs are New Capena, Kamigawa, another New Capena, Crimson Vow, and Innistrad Midnight Hunt. So it kind of looks like they're trying to just get rid of cards that they had too much stock of. But who knows, I might get lucky and might be worth the $35 I paid for it. There's some dice of some sort. Does make sense to somebody that's smarter at, uh, than I am. And then two foilies here. Hmm. Anything else in here? That's it. So let's see, objectively, can we get into the top of the box pretty easily? Looks like it would have maybe ripped apart, I don't know, it's glued pretty tight. Or glued back pretty tight, hmm? I don't know. Packs. Okay, well I guess we start with these, right? Got a Lisa Forgotten Archangel, it's a five drop. Flying lifelink 4-5. Whenever another non-token creature you control dies, return that card to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step. If a creature an opponent control die, would die, exile it instead. I do not hate that. I'm kind of a newer player, so I'm not familiar with that. I don't know if it's any good. I maybe figure out how to tally up prices at the end of this video and figure out if we got ripped off or not. And we got a Sarith the Viper's Fang. Four drop. 3-4 Human Warlock. Other tapped creatures I control have Death Touch. Well, not bad. Okay, let's see here. Moving on, let's get to the packs. I'm going to open this Midnight Hunt pack first. Got the trusty knife, as is tradition. Old and... Dull. Well, that's, actually that one's pretty... That's old, but quite short. Alright, so let's see. I got a token on the back. Common here, so I think I go down from here. Defenestrate, great card. I'm not going to read them all, but. Organ Hoarder, Evolving Wilds, Mystic Courage, Defend the. Uh, I don't even know. I don't even know. Rare. Suspicious, suspicious Stowaway. Can't be blocked. It's a 1 1. Whenever Suspicious Stowaway deals combat damage to a player, draw a card and then discard a card. And it's Daybound. This is that Daybound, Nightbound stuff. Mm, which I was very meh on. Um, so Guardian Zealot. 3-3 three, three Human Cleric. Two rares in a row. Mythic behind that. And back to a common. Okay. So Guardian Zealot. Yeah, I think I actually have one of these. 3-3 three, three at the beginning of combat on your turn. Choose any number of creatures with different powers. Each of them gets plus X, plus X, and gains Vigilance until the end of turn, where X is his power. 
the Mythic, it's the Guardian Savior. Five drop, three, three angel flyer. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, I, if I cast it, return up to two target creature cards with mana value two or less from graveyard to the battlefield. Kind of niche, I don't know. Common, Dawnheart Rejuvenator. I have this card for sure, and even in this art, I think. I'm not focused, focus. Uh, yeah, let's go put them. I'm get it together here, GB. Spell Rune Painter. Another rare. Old Stick Fingers. I've got one of these too, so this will go on the trading block for anybody that's watching this that wants it. When I cast a spell, reveal cards from the top of my library until I reveal X creature cards. Put all creature cards revealed this way into my graveyard, then put the rest on the bottom of my library in a random order. Old stick figures, power and toughness are each equal to the number of creature cards in your graveyard. Getting some niche cards here. Um, Harvest Ride Infiltrator. Oh, hey, another rare. Champion of the Perished. One uh, one drop black for a black. 1-1 one, one zombie. Whenever another zombie enters the battlefield under your control, put a 1-1 one, one counter on this guy. I don't hate that. And a token for Teferi, who slows the sunset. All right, where are we going next? Do, 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 do. Well, we got two of the Capena ones, so we're going to open these. So I bought a box of the new Capena, so I actually did get plenty of cards out of this set. But we'll see if there's any gems I've forgotten about in here. All right, I think we're coming at this right, the right way. Sewer Crocodile, Kill Shot, Ready to Rumble, Broken Wings, Corrupt Court official. Tramway station. Jewel thief. Snooping newsy. Chrome cat. Tavern swindler. Broker's charm. Suspicious bookcase. I'm actually a big fan of this card. This is your. Uh, Three and a tap, target creature can't be blocked this turn. So it's like a rogue's passage, but it only takes three for this one, and you also get a defender out of it. For when you don't have anything big and bad to be unblockable. All right, for the rare, we got Zayatora's Envoy. Four drop, uh, black, red, green. Five, four, trample. When it, it enters, when it deals combat damage to a player, look at the top card of your library. You may play a land from the top of your library or cast a spell with mana value less than or equal to the damage down. See, this is a card that's just too complicated for my little mind when I play. I, somebody smarter than me is going to have to play that one. Sky Crier. And a land and a doggo token. Well, I was pretty unimpressed with that new Capena pack. Let's see if number two will redeem it. Ready to rumble, I think, again. Broken Wings, again. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, they give us the same pack. Cool. Strangle. Capretti Initiate. Celestial Regulator. Rafine Silencer, Swooping Protector, Elegant Entourage. Okay, a rare. There is a rare in here. Sanguine Spy. Spy, I'm sorry. Uh, two and a black. Two, three, Menace Life Link Vampire Rogue. You can pay one and sack another creature. Look at the top card of your library. You can put that card into your graveyard. Begin your end step if there are five or more, five or more mana values among cards in your graveyard. You may pay two life if you do draw a card. That is a shitload of stuff you gotta do to draw a card. Mm -hmm. Spars Adjudicators for the Foily Common that nobody wanted anyway, and a copy. Hmm. Well, nothing so far has made me say I'm glad I paid $35 for this box. So, will Kamigawa change the course of my mind? Not with a paper craft decoy. Iron 
Crackling Apprentice, Crackling Emergence, Return to Action, Harmonious Emergence, Enchantment or Enchant Land you control for four. Enchanted Land is a four or five green spirit creature. I hate making lands into creatures. Uh, Moonfolk Puzzle Maker. Light the Way. Imperial Subduer. Moon Circuit Hacker. A ninjutsu card, at least. Uh, ninjutsu is for a single blue. And also it has a static ability of whenever Moon Circuit Hacker deals combat damage to a player, I may draw a card. If I do, discard a card. Uh, me. So when it ETBs, you can draw a card for free. Other than that, you're just cycling cards. I am not. Not for me. The Modern Age, a Enchantment Saga. One and two, draw a card, then discard a card. Uh, and then three, exile this saga, return it to the battlefield, transformed, transformed, and transformed. It's a th two, three flyer. Okay. Let's play Boar, Hotshot Mechanic, Web Spinner Cuff. And the rare March of Burgeoning Life. Okay, X and a green instant. As an additional cost to cast it, I have to. I may exile any number of green cards from my hand. Cost two less for each spell exiled that way. Uh, choose target creature with mana value less than X. Search your library for a creature card with the same name as that creature. Put it on the battlefield tapped in the shuffle. What? Blossoming Sands for the land. And a trash card. Okay, well, the Crimson Val, actually, I, I think I bought zero Crimson Val products. So, this is the first pack that they have gotten on me. Will it be great? Or will it be Blood Tokens? Probably going to be Blood Tokens. So far, I believe they've pawned off their garbage on me and made me pay money for it. So they got me. Don't let them get you. Sigardus Imprisonment, Bloody Betrayal, Dawnheart Disciple. I don't know. Hell, maybe you're luckier than I am. Um, Lantern Bearer, Day Night, Day Night thing, Enchantment Aura, Give a Creature Flying, Blood Hypnotist, uh, mm hmm. <laughs> Day night. Here's an, a land. Here's a rare. We've got a dying to serve enchantment. Whenever you discard one or more cards, create a tapped 2 2 blank zombie creature token, and that triggers just once a turn. Another rare. Crossway Troublemakers. Uh, it says attacking vampires I control have death touch and lifelink. Whenever a vampire I control dies, you may pay two life if you do draw a card. And a mythic in here, so we'll see here. Volatile Arsonist. So five drop, two red, two of those are red. Uh, four four human werewolf with menace and haste. Whenever Volatile Arsonist attacks, it deals one damage to each of up to two, of up to one tar. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Whenever Volatile Arsonist attacks, it deals one damage to each of up to one target creature, up to one target player, and up to one target planeswalker. And it's daybound. And then it's nighty side says 5-5 five, five, Werewolf Menace Haste. But it attacks does two damage to all of that thing, all of those things. Huh. Actually I have a deck that might uh, do a little thing of thing now. Hmm. Gluttonous guest. Hey. If you dress like that, you can be gluttonous. And then we got a Lucy Westerna, Innocent Traveler. The beginning of, oh, I see it's one of those functional reprint things, I think. No? Hell, I don't know what this is. It's a daybound, nightbound thing. 1 3, the beginning of your upkeep. I don't know why I'm reading this uncommon crap. Yeah. Sundown Pass. Not a bad land. 
and we got an unholy officiant for the foily foils and we got a dracula blood immortal is that good is that good maybe maybe that's good all right so it's not a day bound not bound thing it's uh it says falcon Rail forebear on there so maybe that's what it's uh functional reprint for two and a black uh creature vampire three one flying uh it can't yeah that's what it is it can't block no oh, that sucks um, when it deals combat damage to a player, create a blood token. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> I called it. Blood tokens from the Crimson Vow pack. All right, so I got some packs. Uh, what was that? Five packs. One, two, three, four, five packs and two cards of pretty much crap. Um, and some dice that I guess I don't totally understand. 180, what am I going to do with these? I almost got a 110 on it. I almost got a 180 on it. What do these dice do? Somebody tell me in the comments. That's a six-sided die. I know what that one does. Good night. <laughs>